everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will be making some beautiful applique flowers. So, I think three different ways. Um, we're going to sew in some appliques. And then I've also used uh, fabric glue to glue down this applique. Never glued one down yet with uh, fabric glue. But... Um, we're going to give it a try today, see if it works. So I have not put it together yet. So I hope that you all are having a beautiful Memorial Day. It's uh, also my daughter's birthday. They were uh, both born on the same day. So cool, huh? Um, so uh, it's their birthday today. That's never happened before since they've been born. So cool so fun so i hope that uh everybody's doing well so let's get going so i have i have um let's see i did fabric glue with this one so and you can see the spots on the back side and that doesn't really matter because with this one so this is the same thing that we're going to do with the other ones, but these ones we're going to hand sew. Now I did quickly dye this beautiful satin fabric that was on a vintage wedding dress, and this applique was also part of the vintage wedding dress, and I have dyed the fabric and the applique, but it came out a different color even though they were the same dye, but that's okay. I think it's pretty. So. Uh, let's see so you're gonna need a piece of fabric this one this one is 14 and a half almost 15 is it 15 it may be it is it's right on the line at 15 let me slide this over yeah right here on 15 and then the width is exactly six so when I cut the satin piece off the wedding dress, it's what I cut it to. And I will leave a link to my other video where I did this applique. I called it a shabby chic flower, but it's really an applique flower. So you can take any applique you wish. You don't even have to have one piece. You can have two different kinds of appliques, different colors. You choose what you would like to do. I just wanted to cut this whole piece off to make it simpler. So I did glue this and I waited 24 hours. Like I said, it's kind of it's kind of stiff, so we're just going to give this a try and see if it works. I've already threaded my needle and um let's see here. Let me let, let me just move this out of the way. I did thread my needle already, so I'm going to use pink thread for this. So do you guys have any plans for today, for Memorial Day? Are you doing anything exciting, fun? Where I live, it's kind of cold and rainy. So, you know, my girls just like to do their own thing. So I'll probably just be here crafting all day today. All right, so we're going to fold it in half, exactly in half move this out of the way so you can see yeah you want to fold it exactly in half and it doesn't matter about the fabric tack and we're going to do a running stitch so take the two ends together like this like this take the two ends together and I have my needle and thread already and I used this pink thread that'll you know match with it pretty close So then you want to do a running stitch. So bring it underneath. And this does not have to be perfect. Okay, so we're just going to give this a try because I have never, ever done one with fabric glue yet. So I'm curious myself if this is going to work because it, it is kind of stiff. So... I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to just give it a go. Let's just give it a go. So you do not want to sew 
where the applique is at. Don't do that. And your running stitch really doesn't matter if it's big or small. It's just whatever you prefer. Whatever, whatever you like. So. Just wanted to hop up on here and have some crafty fun with everyone today. Actually, I think I like it better with a fabric glue because see how it's standing up? Oh, I like that a lot. Ooh. So, you don't want to put the fabric glue just anywhere either. You kind of want to just stick it on to the, the underneath here on these parts, you know? Okay, so we have our running stitch flower. So gather it together like this and pull gently because you don't want to tug onto your, yeah, see that's what, what I was afraid of with the glue, that it wasn't going to start peeling up because it's satin. You know what? We're going to make it work. We are going to make it work. Okay, so then you want to uh, take your ends and put it inside each other like this. Figure out which one you want. I think I want this one on the inside. Well, no, it's going to have to be this one. Okay, so I'm going to pull together. I could always flop it the other way too if I want to do it this way. See how I did that? I just, you can turn it any way you want to. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let's try and tuck it in here now. All right. So I'm going to bring my thread back out here like this. And I am just going to do this like this. All right. And now we're going to seal it off. So that's why you want the same color thread as your applique flower so you can't see the thread. See that? Oops, it's stuck on. I hope everybody can see. So then you just want to close it off. So that's what we're doing right now. We're closing it off. you can really see this. So you want to work your way up. You know what? I could just use hot glue too. So I'm just going to stop there. So I am going to just bring this down because I do have my hot glue. So I just really pretty much closed it down here at the bottom. So now we're going to bring it through here. See, it's kind of hard with the glue. That's what I figured it was going to do, but I like the look so far. I think it's very pretty the way it um, stands up. A lot more natural looking. Okay, so I have finished that. So now I'm going to just um, make a knot. So I'm going to one, two, three, and then bring it close like that. So you don't have to go all the way up. I think that you should definitely 
close off the bottom. Now we're just going to use a touch of glue here. Look at that piece of applique right there. Let's use a touch of glue just right here. Okay, let's do that right real fast. So I just want to use a touch of glue right here to kind of just hold it together. And maybe back here to kind of something like that, something simple. All right, so here we have that. So now let's pick a center, actually no. So we got this big piece here. So you kinda wanna just wanna fluff it up now. So this is your, all right, so here's your applique flower. You kinda wanna fluff it up the way you want it. You, you know, make a decision where you want. Okay, so there's lots of sirens going on. They said um, that uh, Memorial Day weekend is the worst weekends for car accidents and stuff like that. So I hope you all be safe out there. Uh, that's why I'm just going to stay home and craft. Okay, so... Here is the applique flower that we did, and this was fabric glue, so I, I glued down the, the applique. Now, so pretty, right? So pretty. So just pretty to me. So I picked out some goodies. I don't know if I want a big clip on here, and you don't even have to do a clip. See, I think I'm going to do a big clip on this one because it's so big. And then... Um, uh, I guess I'll do that one. And then I picked out all these goodies here. So let's pick out one for the center. That's for the back. Let's pick out one for the center. Now I like to put things inside of the flower too. Now I brought this trim. So pretty. So we could put a little bit of that on the inside, like like that, maybe. No, that don't look good to me either. I think maybe we should do something like that. And then, because you kind of want to, something to hold your flat back down pretty good. So there's that. That is so pretty. I was even thinking this gorgeous piece here. Look at this. This vintage piece that I got at a an antique store. It's it's kind of a brown color, a bronzy brown color, but let me see. What do you think? No. I think I'll save that for a tea dye one. I, I brought all these yummy, yummy goodies out here. This one I put, it, it, see it's a button. And when I like to use buttons that have that, I like to find an applique and cut out the center. So it'll give you something to grab, your glue will grab onto there. So then you put it, you know, like that. Now that's pretty too, look at that. Gosh, now I don't know which one I want. And I have this little one too, but I think it's too small for that. Look at this one. It's more for like vintage. This one's really pretty too. Okay, so I like that one. And I'm thinking my project that I'm working on, I'm gonna use one of these applique flowers that we do. And I was gonna make three, but I think we're only gonna sew one in because that's all we have time for. I think I'm gonna go for this one or this one. Put that back in the middle and put this button through here. It, no, it won't go through that, so that's okay though. See, that's really pretty too. Gosh, I like that. 
but then I think I might use this one on the one we're gonna do next and we're gonna go for this one because this one's pink and the pink oh yeah let's do this one okay so before we put the center in I like to do the back so figure out where you know where you want your your clip to go in at so I'm going to use this for the side like this and I want my clip to go in like this so we're gonna flip it over like this we're gonna stick this in here just find the holes and then you want to put it down like this all right so let's go ahead and glue this pretty um, doily in here so you just want to spread your glue and I was gonna use craft glue but you really can't use craft glue for this uh, for this kind of flower you really, really, really need to use hot glue because of the satin. But if you use different kind of fabric, definitely, definitely use regular fabric glue. And then just press down lightly like this. Okay, let's let that dry and get this quickly in here because I still wanna make another flower with you. And this is just an applique off of something trying to remember what so oh I need to get another glue stick in here hold on just one minute okay I got the I mean like I said you could use craft glue but it's kind of hard with satin fabric it really is. It doesn't glue down fast enough and hold. So you've got to really use hot glue for this because you want it instant. But if you are using cotton, you can use uh, fabric tack or, or whatever. That's, see, there's pieces like this that are hanging up from the applique, but I kind of like it. It looks shabby. I could cut that off though. So this flower, I believe, is going to go in my next project. So let's put this on here. You want to use a good amount of glue so it really uh, really glues down pretty good. Just hold it down for a second. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at it. So fun. So you can do this with fabric glue. And here is the side. And then we're going to do one more together. And we're going to do, we're going to sew the applique in. But I really like the fabric tack. It really is so pretty. It kind of, it stiffened it up and I like that. So this is most likely going to go into my project on the front clip it on the front of the journal so that'll be so pretty I might that's why I like using appliques on the back because I like to hang laces and pearls from these little holes here on the on the doilies not the appliques the doilies it's time for some more coffee all right so so pretty and this is when I like to go back in and glue. If anything is loose, I go back in there and add some fabric tack around where it's loose and let it dry overnight before I put it on there. That way nothing falls apart. So I suggest that. So it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get moving on the sewing one. That turned out so stinking beautiful. I love it. Love, love, love. Let's put that right here so we can enjoy it. Who doesn't love pink? And look at that pink. Okay, so I do have another one like this, but I think I'm going to glue it with fabric tack and glue it down to the same size. 
uh, 15 long by six deep because that's what makes this. You can go smaller, definitely. You can go bigger. You can even go bigger and loop around and keep going. Um, you can see some of my flowers in my project like that. So I think I'm going to glue this down with fabric tack. And when you do that, this is protected by silk from the dress. So I can put the glue anywhere I want to, but I like to glue where the thread is at. And then on here, because there's no silk part here, I'll glue where there's white lace or colored lace right there. And then glue it on here, leave it on there for 24 hours, and then do the running stitch, close it off, and finish off your flower. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. But this one is smaller. This one's going to be a slightly different. So it is three ways. You can glue it with fabric tack, or you could sew it, or you can do it this way. So we're going to sew this. Now this is a white applique, and this piece is baby pink, and I'm going to measure both for you. Let's see, this is almost 16 inches. It's about 16 inches. I don't know if I really need it that big. Let's just leave it though. 15 is the lucky number. And this is by four and a little over four inches. And then the applique, this is where, and I'm wondering if I should cut it down even more. The applique is 16 inches. So it's about as long as the piece of fabric. So, so this one, um, you want it on the edge, right? So, I'm losing pearls off of it, but it's okay. You want it on the edge of your fabric. So, here's your edge. You wanna, you want this dangling off the edge of your fabric. So, I already got needle and thread ready, and this is white thread to match the applique. So, let's turn it over. And let's, let's make sure, yeah, let's uh, turn it over here and I want the ruffle hanging off of there. And it could be any kind of applique. It doesn't even have to be like this, but I got this one from Hobby Lobby. You can get it off your vintage wedding dresses and you can do the same thing with this kind of applique. You want to put it on the edge like this, whichever design you want from your applique. So if you want that on your edge... That's going to be on your edge, or you could flip it around, and this could be on your edge. But we're going to do this, and we're just going to, what we're going to do is we're going to hide our thread. We do not want our thread showing. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it back around, and you want to hide your thread within the applique. Because I said, you don't, you don't want to see it. So... Make sure it's staying on the edge there. And um, I'm just going to do a few and then I'm going to let you um, just watch. Don't worry about the back side. Plus, if you do it this way and you want to dye your flower. You can. Well, you can dye your flower if you use fabric tack too, so that's kind of cool. Oops, you know what I just did? Did you realize what I just did? <laughs> oh, me. Let me restart that. All right, so back to um, fixing my mistake. <laughs> it's easy to do. So you want to hide your thread in the applique, the white part of the, or the pink part, blue, purple, doesn't matter what color. 
but you want to hide your thread in there. Kind of see where what I'm doing here. I'm hiding the thread in there. And then I'm going to bring it up through here to the edge. So you want to do this all the way down. Boy, gluing is so much faster, isn't it? So I am definitely going to do fabric tack from now on. Alrighty, so I went ahead and finished sewing the applique on the tip of that. And here's the back side. It's just everywhere. Doesn't have to be perfect. Got pearls flying everywhere, but that's okay. So now I have... We're going to do a running stitch here. So let's get this going here. And I'm almost thinking this is almost too big. I think I'm going to, because after it's gathered, it's going to look like this. I'm going to cut some of this real fast. Let's do it. Let's just get brave. And I want to cut it down a little bit. I don't like how big it is. It's bothering me. So let's go ahead and cut some of this length off. I think it's just way too much. So I'll probably just go ahead and cut about that much off. No measuring, just cut what you think would look pretty. So now let's measure that for you and see. So it's not to the applique, so almost almost three inches. So I cut a little more than half off, but that's okay. And it looks uneven, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and tie a knot. All right, now let's do the running stitch. So um, I have my pink thread. I'm gonna come up about halfway right there from behind on the back side, and then just start your running stitch and see how I'm doing that. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just fun. pull through. Going to fix that up there. There we are. So let's go ahead and make this come around like we did the other one. Kind of just refix it. I'm almost thinking it should have been longer. I'm going to go ahead and um, finish this off. I don't want it to be in my way so or unravel. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this baby off right here. Okay. So let's see what we got here. And then I might just hot glue it. So we're going to play around. Hmm. That one's already folded in there. 
did that all on its own and you want to bring down your little raffle that see so this one isn't I could have went further in with the applique but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it right here so I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue right here oops that was a little too much of hot glue but it's okay let's get that on there let that hold just for a second all right so I've decided to glue these edges down hope it doesn't come out the other side now okay so let's glue these edges down actually before I do that let's pick this out first okay so before we glue that down I don't I want to glue this I have small clips and medium clips let's do a medium clip so That's the back side. So let's just put it through these holes here. And then you want to look at the front the the front of the flower. See where you want to See where you want your bottom. And I guess it really doesn't matter. See this applique is sticking up there. I'm I like that so this one is about the same thing just not folded over so do I want to I guess I'm gonna do that right there so then just stick your glue on there and put it on the back And while it's drying, I would definitely, for this one, since it's not doubled, could have brought my little hot glue spatula back here, but it, I didn't. I forgot to bring it, uh, get it off my shelf. Okay, so let's go ahead and hot glue these corners down. Kind of like let the... There's so many ways you can do this flower. So many ways. I mean, just use your imagination. And I think I got them all down. Okay, so it's kind of like, isn't that pretty? I'm just gonna leave that hanging down I like it so then you have your and it's pretty even on the back side so pretty there's so many ways you can do this let's see okay so I think I might um, let's see if we can Find a pretty center for that. I was thinking about this one. Did I try to put it through here? Yeah, there we go. Kind of use it for a base. Isn't that pretty? So then you want to put that in the center, but there we go. How do you like that? Isn't it pretty? I like the way the appliques stick out in different places and you don't really plan anything. You kind of just, you kind of just go for it, right? So I want to put that in the center there. So let's go ahead and glue this down and then this will be finished. So pretty. we're going to give that a minute to let that dry. 
So remember, the third way would have been um, the 15 by 6, so the 15 long, 6 wide. Sew the applique on. But I like, I really like the fabric tack, the fabric glue. A lot faster, you just have to wait 24 hours. And I like the stiffness of it. And plus, it seems to be a lot simpler that way. But you can sew this in and then fold it in half. Remember, you want to pretend the applique sewed in there. And then fold it in half and do your running stitch. And you could even, before you stitch up your ends, you could fill this up with a um, little fluff to kind of fluff up your flower. So that would be the third way. So the same way as this way, just instead of using fabric tack to glue down your uh, applique, you just sew it. So, but the the fabric tack worked just fine. So this is the one with fabric tack, and then we did a running stitch and closed it, and put a little bit of hot glue there just to kind of seal up the end. So this is so pretty. I love it so much. It turned out really good. Let me know down in the comments down below if you like this project. And let me know if you try it. And just let me know what you think about this. It's uh, pretty simple. Give it, give it a, you know, work at it and do your best. I know that you can do it if you try. And then this one here is the single one where we didn't fold it in half, but we folded down the applique around the outside of the edge. Even the back is pretty. So this will be for another project. So, so pretty. And it's just really pretty on the sides too. Just a little thinner than this one. The fabric tack really made it stand up, didn't it? I like it though. I like it. That was a trial run and I I love that the best. So let me know what you think about my about my applique flowers and give them a try. And I I hope that you all have a beautiful, lovely Memorial Day. Get outside in some fresh air and also do what you love. So I love you all and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.